I'm Wendy Berry, and this is WB Reflection. In this episode, we hope to inspire you to follow your dreams. Today, we share the journey of graphic design artist Hugo Maldonado. Here's WB family member and Unidos co-chair, Sal Montes de Oca. Por favor, Sal, dinos más. Hola, Warner Bros. Soy Sal Montes de Oca. Hoy hablamos con Hugo Maldonado, artista de diseño gráfico que comenzó su trabajo en servicios alimenticios, una carrera que le ha ofrecido oportunidades de trabajar en programas ganadores de los premios Emmy, incluyendo The Big Bang Theory, Mike and Molly y Mom. La trayectoria de Hugo nos inspira a seguir nuestros sueños, a valorar la importancia de crear lazos profesionales, teniendo en mente que ser auténtico es la mejor forma de mantener conexiones cálidas. Adelante, Hugo. My name is Hugo Maldonado. I'm a graphic artist here at Warner Brothers, and I work for Chuck Lorre Productions. I work on the show Mom. We just wrapped up Big Bang, and we're about to start up a new show called Bob Hart's Abishola, which I'm excited about. I grew up in Canoga Park in San Fernando Valley. My parents are from Guadalajara, Mexico. They migrated here in the late 80s, and I have two younger sisters, Gabby and Viri. I went to Pierce College. I was undecided, so uh, I stayed there for about two years. I knew I wanted to be in film or I wanted to work somehow in the arts. My first introduction to the industry was through my uncle's catering company. They had a bad experience working for a company that they were with, so they decided to buy their own truck and they started casting crew catering. They would go on set and on location and do their whole setup and I would go work for them on my time off or over the summer. I decided to take the tour here at Warner Brothers because that was one of the best and major studios to work for. After that, I got a much better visual of what it takes to put together all these shows and films. And I was so excited after seeing the sets. I got my picture taken with the Batmobile. Right after that, I stopped and I, I talked to the staff and I asked them like, so how do I get a job here? I want to stay <laughs> pretty much. So they said, apply online, whatever's available online. So that's what I did. I applied online. I went home, I checked things out and I applied for security, gardening, office assistant, uh, anything they had, I, I was gonna I was gonna apply for. They had a catering available and Warner Brothers picked me up and within two days after I applied and I joined the catering company here at Warner Brothers. I got the job here at Warner Brothers. I was a commissary utility. So I was assigned to bus tables to set up breakfast, lunch, uh, whatever whatever the commissary needed, I, I was assigned to that. Shortly after that, uh, they were asked to start a program where they would send the representative to the stages and you would monitor the food there and engage with the crew and cast. They asked me to join the, the Mike and Molly team and I'll never forget it because it's one of the best experiences I've had in my life. The first person that greeted me and welcomed me to the stage was Billy Gardell, the star of the show. He says, hey, you're a new face around here. Like, welcome to the set of Mike and Molly. Just from working at that set, I've been able to make a lot of lifelong friends and like great relationships. And one of the first people that I really connected with was Melissa McCarthy. And then the next thing that came up was the movie Tammy. And I still remember the day she asked me to join was on set during breakfast. And she just says, hey, uh, I have a new project coming up and I'm wondering if you'd be interested in designing some artwork for me. And of course I was interested. I was going to take it regardless. So it turned out to be the Mahalo t-shirt and it's in 70% of the movie. It's how she gets caught in the feature. And I'll never forget that one day I was driving to work and the Mahalo t-shirt poster was out in the front of the studio. I couldn't believe that my design was featured for the next summer hit for Warner Brothers. During this time, I was still catering for Mike and Molly, but in 2016, the show got canceled and uh, I was a little, uh, you know, I was a little lost. I, I, w I wasn't sure if I was gonna be reassigned to another show or what was gonna happen. I was still in the commissary, so I was busting tables again and setting food up. But one day, a friend of mine, Darren James, who's the art director on Mom, just taps me and he says, hey, did you wanna work in the art department? And I said, yeah. And he says, um, can you come on your lunch break? I said, yes, <laughs> I'm coming. So that's what I did. I took uh, my hat off, I took my uniform off, I showed up, I met with production designer John Schaffner, who's done Friends, Two and a Half Men, Big Bang Theory. We are familiar from uh, Mike and Molly. 
So uh, I spoke to him. I told him I was a, I knew the job and and I I didn't need much training. But if I did need to learn something, I would go out of my way and use my own time to learn it. That, and I really wanted this job. Two days later, Darren calls me and he's like, "Hey, you quit your job at the commissary. You're joining the art department." Now that I'm working full time in graphics, I'm very passionate about continuing my own projects, um, writing, designing, and developing my own characters. Uh, one of the things that I'm super excited about is an animated Western that I'm putting together with a Hispanic lead. It just really connects with me because you don't see much of that on screen now. Adversity doesn't discriminate and we all go through the same things and I want to be able to show that no matter who you are, we can still connect with our triumphs or our tragedies. My advice to whoever is watching this is uh, you don't need someone's approval to pursue what you're passionate about. If you want to write, you should write. If you want to direct, you should go out and do that. If you're passionate about it, it's, it's worth going after. And if you're ever challenged with not having direction or not knowing what to do, you just reach out to someone. There's a lot of great people that are willing to help you out and show you a path. Every time I felt like giving up, I'd talk to someone about it and they'd help me figure things out or they would just remind me that, you know, if you quit now, you just gave up on yourself.